This is a video about TD Snap um, just in general. You can use this for both TD Snap Motor Plan and TD Snap Core First. Um, so this is talking about the different features that can change um, the accessibility and help kids that need some alternative access, um, even within just an iPad. Um, one of the features um, is touch exit and one is touch enter and they're just do completely different things. So the first one I want to talk about is the one for a child that might be swiping or dragging their finger across the screen. You want to go to the top right hand corner of the gear, go to user and access method, and you want to look at finding a way so that when they're dragging their finger, it will only activate um, uh, upon release once they are resting their finger on that item for even a like a half a second or so and that will stop it from activating every single button that that they're dragging their finger across or that their other fingers are by mistake hitting so you want to go to access method um, under user and change it from touch to touch exit which will mean it will only activate when you move your hand or exit th that button and so you'll see that whole time is the first option down. So this will um, mean that they have to have a hold time on the button. When you turn it on, there's slow, medium, fast. So this really depends on the child's um, motor skills. Uh, usually fast works for a lot of my students, but if you have a child that takes a little longer or has very slow mo um, motor movements, this could be helpful. If it's not helpful, consider other access methods. This is not the only way to get a child to access AAC. So I'll show you the difference between fast and medium. So if I press fast and then click done, um, what will happen is that I'm, I'm gonna drag my finger across the screen and you'll see it's not activating the button, but it's pressing it. And when I'm ready for the one I want, I just rest it for a little longer and then I'll release it and it will say go. And so now I'm going to turn this off and you'll see what it's like without that. Oops, forgot to get out of ed editing mode. Like, going, coming, told, try, seeing. So it still kind of had a delay, and so if you go into here and then you change the access method to not touch exit, so touch exit was still on, which is my mistake, just going to touch instead, then this is what the natural or automatic settings would be. It won't do anything as your child's kind of activating it, or it'll, uh, if they're pressing it with their whole hand, it'll like have one or two of the random buttons they're pressing, which is not what we want, and it can be really frustrating for the child. So for kids that do do that dragging, make sure to go to the access method, touch exit, and turn on hold time. Um, so the one I showed you was fast for medium. It's just a little bit longer that you have to stay on the button. And it will highlight a darker Take. page when it's ready. So it's a one second. So might be too slow for some kids and great for the other kids. So now, see it will do it even on these buttons. So now I'm going to go into user, and this is for a child that does multiple button presses. So I will show you what that sounds like with just the touch, which is the automatic feature. So it'll go like this. Take, 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 take. So it'll go multiple times. It'll say the word multiple times. If you want that to stop, especially, you know, if you're in a busy classroom and if um, teachers take away the device when this happens, which we don't want to happen, we want their device to be out with them and accessible at all times. Go to that top right hand corner here, go to user and now access method. And this will be where you do touch enter. And now there's gonna be a delay. You wanna go delay between selections. And so you can do medium, slow. I'll show you what medium looks like for that same situation. Tank. So now they have to do it multiple times. It's like a delay is about two seconds. If that's too slow, change it to one second. Play around with it. But this will help decrease that multiple button press. Um, and you'll even see that among the top buttons for clear and delete. So those are two really easy things to add. Again, if these don't work for your students, there are multiple different access methods um, that use other features. And you might just want to talk to your speech therapist or an occupational therapist 
um, or even the assistive technology specialist on your team. Um, if not, you know, as a parent or as a speech therapist that has less experience with this, um, you can always comment and let me know if you have any questions.